Hi gang. Uh, <clears throat> quick leftover makeover. I did enchiladas on Saturday for my cooking demo. So what I did yesterday in my meal prep, because I always meal prep on Sundays, is I cooked up some chicken thighs with some of the leftover uh, enchilada seasoning, a bit of tomato and some broth. And I just let that cook till that all became tender and well done. And then I put it in my little container, put it in the fridge. This is the broth that was left over and you know I'll be making a type of Mexican soup with the leftovers. Look at how beautiful that is. It's got all the gelatin from the chicken which makes so good for your bones. Awesome. Cartilage. Very good. So I used just maybe a tablespoon. I added some garlic. I added a little buffalo uh, seasoning, our, our wing mix, because I love the spicy. But today I'm also going to add a little bit of the chili flakes and garlic to make an enchilada. So it's going to be a chicken enchilada. I'm also, which I have the leftover sauce that I made from the weekend here. I'm going to add a little bit of that to the chicken and some cheese. And I have the mole sauce that I made. So there's that. That's going to go on after the fact when they come out of the microwave. But I'm going to make two. One I'm going to have for lunch and another one I'm going to save for another time. Uh, so we don't need this. I just really wanted to show you that because I'm all about being frugal and using what I have. I don't like to throw anything out and that is just jam packed with flavor. I'll add some broth to it. I'll add some veggies to it. And uh, um, if I had more chicken, I would add chicken, but I don't, I don't. So that's fine. It'll just be the flavoring and some veggies and either noodles or rice. I'm not sure which. Okay, so here I've got my shredded chicken thighs that I did yesterday. I'm going to stir up my Give it a little stir. I'm going to add some more of the enchilada sauce to my chicken. Just one spoonful and mix it up. I'm going to put half on one tortilla. And then I'm going to put the other half of the chicken on the other one. So let me kind of make it fair for the you guys. A little bit of chicken on each one. You can do chicken breast, thighs, whatever you like. I just, that's enough for me for the protein. I could be adding beans, but I'm saving the beans for uh, a family member to make them a vegetarian one. So there's that. And then I'm just going to add, now you could be adding veggies to this if you want to. Go, go to town, do it up. Um, you could add peppers to it, onions. When I was cooking it, I could have added the peppers and onions in to cook with it. I'm just gonna, this is going to be really super simple. Um, let me get this over here so you can see. Just add some cheese. And then I'm just going to roll it up. Okay. Because I don't have a whole lot of prepared enchilada sauce left, I'm not going to put any in the bottom. I'm just going to put my tortilla in my rectangular steamer. Boom, like that. Let's do the next one. And dinner's going to be ready. I mean, it's literally, I think I put it in for three and a half minutes, and you don't even need that. I'm going to do two and a half, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, don't forget, I haven't heated any of this up yet. This is cold from the fridge, but it's still going to be okay. Spread it out a little bit. There we go. Add some cheese. A little bit of cheese. You don't have to add cheese if you don't want to. You can add salsa to this inside. And like I said, some veggies. You could do um, some shredded cabbage if you wanted to. Like a, you could even make up a, a, a coleslaw, Mexican style coleslaw. Add it to my little boom in there. I oh, just realized I cannot use that because I put it in chicken. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit because I want to save, as I said. Whoop. 
There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little cheese. And I'll have one for lunch. You can add a little side salad to it, a little coleslaw. Just some cut up veggies. Put the lid on it. I'm going to put it in for two and a half minutes. Show you a picture afterwards. It's basically the same idea. It's going to look the same as the original one I did on Saturday. Anyways, quick little leftover makeover of my enchilada sauces. Going to add some mole to mine because I am in love with it. Um, it's available. Mole is available only in the Concord Dinner Collection. It's a beautiful collection. Uh, 15 different meals um, with the exclusive mole sauce. So it's a great value. And it comes with the meal plan, grocery list, the whole kit and caboodle with recipes. So if you want to know any more about that, I'm 